guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you my son's nursery so this is what it looks like when you open it up and we're going to start over here with the bed this crib was actually donated to us from a friend of someone in our family and I was really drawn to the dark wood so I sort of decorated everything around that We never use the changing table, we normally just change him in the crib or on the floor. So up here we just put his hippo that he uses for naps and bedtime. It just displays stars on the ceiling and plays different kinds of music or nature sounds. He really likes that. And we also store some diapers and wipes up here in this bin. There are three drawers on the front of the changing table area and in the first drawer we just store his shoes. He hasn't actually worn shoes yet and a couple of these pairs like the Sperry's and the Converse were passed down from his sister. So probably once he starts moving around a little bit more and using his feet we'll start putting shoes on him. And in the second drawer we just have a few shirts and tops that are still too big for him. And in the bottom drawer we have all of his shorts and pants. And down here underneath the crib, there's also a drawer and right now we don't have that much in it. We have these pictures that are broken frames that I replaced right after this video was filmed. So you're gonna see these pictures actually hanging up on the wall in a second. But we also have his important documents and this box we had made at the hospital with his hospital photos on it. We have another one just like it that we got made for Noel, so we knew we wanted one for Caleb too. I'm not gonna open it up because it was, has his social security card and other personal things inside, but yeah, that is something that is really special to us. And like I mentioned, these are the pictures we have hanging above his bed. We went through so much crap trying to hang these up and keep these hanging. They've fallen so many times, but hopefully we have them up here for good now. But yeah, I got these off of Amazon. They just came in a set of six prints and we bought frames for them from Walmart. I think they're so cute. And then on the wall facing the changing table section of the crib, we have this mirror that I got from Home Goods that I'm so obsessed with. We found the exact color of the crib and I thought it went really well with the sort of safari theme I was going for. And then moving to the closet, I'll go ahead and open it up and show you what that looks like currently. I tried to clean it up and organize it better, but I have diaper bags up there and some other medical things and a few other storage items that I don't have anywhere else to put right now. And these aren't all of his clothes, these are just the ones I had washed. I'm actually doing his laundry right now as I'm doing this voiceover. And he has some things down here, and this bin is actually filled with clothes that either don't fit him anymore or won't fit him in time for the next season. And I did want to show you his suitcase real fast, but it's a personalized Toy Story suitcase. His sister actually has a personalized princess suitcase that matches, so I thought that was cute. And then on the little wall space next to the window on the back wall, we have this seat. I bought it at Hobby Lobby, and I painted it dark blue to match the accent wall. And then underneath that, we have this chair I got on clearance at Marshall's. It was actually Noelle's little rocking chair, but I thought it looked really nice in here. And they both will use it anyway, so it doesn't really matter where it's at. And behind that is his laundry hamper where I put his dirty clothes. I think I got it at Target, but I'm not 100%. It was either Target or Marshall's. And then moving on to the window, we actually had these shutter blinds put on. Before, they were just regular blinds that were basically falling apart, but we love these ones. You can just open the top ones all together and then the bottom ones, and then you can also pull it all the way open. And then moving right along on the wall on the other side of the window, there's this shelf I got on Amazon. And it started out white, but I painted it dark blue to match everything, and I'll just go through everything that's on it. First is this fake plant from Marshalls. And in the next opening, I keep his pacifiers here so that his sister doesn't steal them. We don't lose them. Underneath that, I put another fake plant. This one's obviously a cactus, but I thought it fit the theme really well. Next to that is a little plastic block thing that was actually on his baby shower cake. And underneath that, I have this dog piggy bank that I actually painted when I was younger. And it's special to me because it actually resembles my first family dog. And I thought it would be nice to give to Caleb. And I think it turned out looking really cute in here. Next to that is another block from the cake. And in the last one, we put all of his bow ties because a lot of his outfits come with them and we don't really want to lose them. Oh. 
And then on the ground underneath that, he has this bookshelf that I thought was super cute. We also got this off of Amazon and it was the perfect color. It matches the crib exactly. But I thought it was cute how it came with a little seat with cushions so they can read there or whatever. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any books yet. So it's kind of just become a storage space for his toys right now. But I know that we can get him a toy box eventually when he starts to get more toys and books so that he, we can actually put books in here. But right now it's just various toys and stuffed animals. And I do keep a lot of his smaller toys and teething toys in this little bin on top. On the ground next to that is his blanket basket. Again, I can't remember exactly where I got this wire basket from, but I want to say it was from Target. But you can find this kind of basket anywhere, honestly. But yeah, his blankets are just kind of thrown in there right now. And then on the last wall, I put up these little shelves that I also painted from Amazon. And then I put these safari box prints in them. I got the prints from Kirkland's and they definitely fit my safari theme. And on the other shelf, I put some of his little, I guess you would call them loveys. And he has a tiny rattle up there. And I don't know, I just thought they looked really cute up there for now. And we also put his camera for his monitor up there right now too, because it has the best positioning up there to fully see him. And underneath those shelves, I have this organizer that I got from Target up top. I put his bibs, they are clean, I promise, but some of them are definitely stained. Next to that, I put his socks. Noelle likes to play with these and put them on her own feet. So somehow I'm always losing socks or having to wash one of each pair. So a lot of these currently don't have pairs, but they're around here somewhere. In the middle, I have burp claws. So we honestly don't even use anymore. I'll use them if we're playing in his room and he spits up or there's a mess to clean up, but otherwise don't really use them. Next to those, we put his washcloths. They're all being washed right now. That's why there's none in there. And then on the last row, I put his crib sheets and his towels next to that. And lastly, his floor. So we have a mat that he doesn't really use anymore, honestly, now that he's crawling, but we still may put him down here while we're changing his diapers so he has something to kind of keep him entertained. And the mat is sitting on top of this navy blue chevron rug that we got from Amazon. And I love this rug. It's not the softest rug in the world, but it does look really nice in here. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas. Please subscribe to my channel to see more of my future videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.